We're out here today because we're talking about this crazy guy with a salsa Fargo yeah. who has decided battery packs were just too much of a hassle. Yeah. Recharging lights, too much of a hassle. Yeah. I think it's Talk, the lights that really got me. Talk a little bit about the problem. Yeah. What, what, how, how you solved it. Well, I will still probably always carry a battery pack of some sort, but it was the lights. I, I found myself, if I were going to ride at night or anything or camping for several days, I would, I would have two or three lights. I just didn't like that. Front lights, back lights, helmet light, you know? Yeah. And uh, they're good, but I think that I, I really felt I needed to have something that was always going to work. Because I've been out and I forgot to charge a light before. Yeah. And, or you run the light for, like, if you're doing an all-day ride and you want to mm-hmm. keep your lights going for safety purposes. Yeah, for visibility. Maybe they run dead because a lot of times they don't have batteries that'll run yeah. for 8 or 10, 12 hours a day. Yeah. Now, let's talk about what the solution was. <laughs> <laughs> the solution was a slippery slope. It started getting more expensive. <laughs> uh, as, as you can see, I obviously put, you know, multiple... Uh, attachments to this thing. Well, and we know how important budget is with this bicycle. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. We're talking about a Salsa Fargo that really is not anything original left on it except the frame. Pretty right. much. The color. <laughs> the color. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, we got the roll-off hub, the gates drive, all the racks, racks. the seats, the handlebars. Yeah. I mean, pretty much everything on this bike is custom outside of the frame. Yeah, outside the frame, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's new wheels, new tires, all yeah. that. So, the solution was what you 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 investigated several options, but you just couldn't get it out of your head, could you? Yeah, and that started a couple years ago. And I, you know, the local bike shop, Waltz. I talked to them several times. Yeah, about the hubs, and we kind of agreed that the Sun Hub um, is uh, is probably one of the ones that's most dependable. Yeah, and uh, just tried and true, you know. Um, and it doesn't seem to have a lot of resistance. You know, there's always going to be some. Right. But so that's what that's what we decided to go with. Um, and they, you know, they have an account with them and they can always get some. But then you kind of have to decide <clears throat> if you have a dynamo, what are you going to do? You need a controller if you want to charge or you want to have a light or whatever. Right. And uh, simple is better with me because I can mess things up. Too many variables and it's just the game's over. Right. And so Went with the uh, the sine wave cycles uh, beacon lamp. Yep, and it's pretty much high, low, off, and it works real well with uh, with a, a nice uh, tail light. Right. So as a unit, this kind of serves as a controller. So what I can do is I can have have it uh, on high or low, or charge when I'm when I'm riding. Or you can also, if you're camping and you're gonna set up a you know, set up your tent and you don't have a light because you've already made the switch, then you can actually plug in uh, a battery to this and then use it just as a stand light. Right. So you can do that. And also you can basically charge while, like if you want to charge something while you're riding, any excess yeah. power generated can go to trickle charge something like a battery pack or whatever. Yeah, and I haven't experimented much with that. I probably need to because, you know... Yeah. Um, the lights don't take much, but if you really want to draw some charge, you turn the lights off, and you got to maintain a pretty good velocity, pretty yeah. good speed to, yeah. get, to get something in it. Um, but I was thinking probably a, a small battery then, yeah. you know, that I could then use to top off the, the, the Wahoo Navigator or the, you know, the cell phone, that kind of stuff. So let's talk about cost. One thing we'll talk about cost and then talk about the installation and what's kind of required because there's a lot of customization that kind of has to happen, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're still <clears throat> kind of in the pandemic uh, parts shortage world. Yeah. And so uh, I had to donate the rim because we just flat couldn't get a rim. Yeah. Couldn't get a rim. We've been waiting for a long time. Um, fortunately, they had they had spokes. Um, you don't always get to choose a color of your spokes right now. Right. <laughs> so I've got and black the, in the back, silver up And it's here, a custom whatever. spoke length to match the hub because the hub is bigger than a standard hub, right? It is. So quite, they have a, to, quite a bit bigger. Spokes have got to be matched to that. Yes. And you're talking, so you're talking about the cost of the hub, which is probably what? Uh, you know, it's, it's probably, I'm sure it's three or four hundred bucks. Three or four hundred bucks for mm-hmm. the hub. Yep. And then you've got to choose some kind of a controller or lights. Mm-hmm. So you're talking about that light with the controller for the, that sine wave. That's this was about three. About three hundred bucks. So it's, you're already, yeah. you know. It's and then you've got bad. wiring and installation set up and all that stuff, which you had the local bike shop do. Yeah. No yeah. one's going to trust me, dude. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> right. So, but what you but the benefit is you've got constant light. Oh yeah, yeah. Whenever yeah. you want, very dependable too. This is epoxy coated. And it gets you can have it out in the rain. It's I mean I'm very happy with it. It's very right. it's very durable. It's very sturdy. So if you're considering a solution for your bike and you're thinking about how do I power lights? I'm going to be doing touring and I don't want to mess with charging, recharging, recharging. You want that added safety benefit of having a light on all the time as you mm -hmm. want it. Because yeah. you can turn it off and on. Yeah. You know, high and low. Yeah. You got options. So yeah. if you're thinking about that, dynamo yeah. and light, tail light might be an option for you to consider. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Definitely. Well, we'll have more on the Fargo as time goes on, I'm sure. There's always something to talk about on this bike. It's never <laughs> yeah. ending. Yeah. Work yeah. in progress. So oh, yeah. thanks for sharing that with us. I'll uh, make sure to show some B-roll of it too. Cool. Yeah.